Hey everyone, Tragic here, and we're doing something that I swore I would never do again, buying from the Seattle Goodwill. Um, I bought from them in the past and done okay, um, but I actually get the strong impression that someone out there knows what to look for, and they actually will pull rares and put them onto eBay. Um, so here I'm taking a gamble on the possibility that maybe they're slipping, I don't know. Um, lots of random stuff to go through hopefully this was uh, a blind lock completely they did not show anything about these cards other than the top view that you see right now you can see that there were two deck boxes and uh, maybe some an older card here slight variation of the ink color so we're gonna get into these and see if they're worth it there's a couple more deck boxes here G7 so let's at least let's take a peek is it full of bolt commons from Magic Origins, could be. All right, all right, this is it. Not looking so good. Come on, give me a rare. Give me something. Oh, there we go. There's a rare. Prepare to fight. Nothing big, but at least there's rares. So I like seeing rares, even if they're bulk rares. There's always hope. Go Mafada, sure. All right, there's our sneak peek. I'll get into this properly shortly do the whole thing all right all right here we go go through this lot from shop goodwill of seattle let's see if there's anything good in here okay so prepare to fight uh pretty much a bulk rare i'm sure i think it's 33 cents so this goes in the bulk rare pile or i'll put in uh like just bulk foils and stuff into there as well that may end up being the whole pile who knows Eric Smithies, the Slumbering Isle, is actually five bucks reprinted into Double Masters. Commander version 499. Alright, there's our first hit. So they actually did leave behind some Commander Rares from Commander 2018. Great, very cool. So there's a five dollar card. And we are on our way. And I think what I need to do is put our price value up at the top here there we go I had to put up the total paid it's honestly been a while I do not remember what I paid for this I want to say it was about 150 bucks so that's what we're going with don't hold me to it might have been a little bit more might have been a little bit less so we just got to have a goal in mind here so here we go Hey, we got a, uh, a Planeswalker. That's amazing. So we got Queen's Commission. Myth Realize. I think that's a Narset. Wow. Well, that was really good to leave behind. Well, now I got a little bit more hope for this box. That's great. Myth Realized. 49 cents. So mostly it's been bulk rares. But hey, there's actually a couple of decent cards right here. Narset Transcendent from uh, Dragon's Attack here. It's $8.99. Well, now we're getting somewhere. Counterspell from Tempest, very nice. So this is not uh, not the worst at this point. Hey, Soul Ring. Okay, so someone had taken apart some Commander decks here. Command Tower is pretty decent. I'll throw it there. And um, somehow went to the Goodwill. You know, I feel like a lot of the stuff that goes to Goodwill is for sure bulk. You know, people are just dumping what they have, or they come from a game store that's got to get rid of some stuff. But often I have found 
very good cards left behind, so I do keep doing this. Hey, interesting. Ineffable Blessing is actually 291. And it, she's a rarity when it comes into the battlefield. Whenever a creature with a chosen rarity enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. So, I mean, it's just an un card. It's, there's not much more use than for some very casual games. But some of these do uh, are desirable for a cube or something. I would like to make a unset cube someday when I'm 90 and have time to do that. Earl of Squirrel, hey! I know this guy, look at him. There he is. So that's that's good, we'll, we'll hang on to that. It's actually a couple bucks, so. The Earl is here. The Foil Seven Dwarves. I mean, okay. Does anyone play the Seven Dwarves? They, there's a little bit to them. I mean, there, there probably could be a deck. As a foil, it's two bucks. So, that's a little bit of a pick there. Hey, there we go. Murderous Rider. The promo pack version. Uh, definitely got some play or just it's been in the box and it's all nicked up but that's a, a decent card right there a couple bucks it, it's not one I would have left behind to go give to the thrift store you know so there's just kind of a little bit of hope still here Fleet Wheel Cruiser, Kaladesh Rare, huh? And a Sahili Rai, wow. But it's a uh, pretty bad condition. Yeah, yeah, that's like heavy play. Otherwise, it would be five bucks. We'll put it here. They're very common. Whoa, there we go. Kaya. K 
Kaya, Davriel. All right, excellent. Kaya, Orzov, Usurper. I uh, got some light play to it, maybe even moderate, actually. Three bucks. Propaganda is five dollars. Wow, all right, cool. Where has it been reprinted? Originally from Tempest. Let's see. Uh, it's this card from Tempest. Gotcha. Yep. Um, 2013 propaganda. Five bucks. There we go. Foil Jace's Sanctum, huh? Foil Rare, 323 for Jace's Sanctum. Okay, weird. So, Tuvasa, the Sunlit, um, Commander 2018. I believe that was the Commander that came with that deck, or was it the, uh... Wow, that's pretty good. 1224 for Tuvasa. This came with the, um... Oh, gosh, it was the... The Planeswalker with the Mask. I forget her name, but... Um... Actually, I have this deck. But um, this is like one of the alternate commanders. Gets one for each enchantment you control. Whenever you cast your first enchantment spell, each turn draw a card. So this would be a great alternate commander for a Bant enchantments desk deck. So there's there's a nice little hit there. Kind of the best card we found so far. Hey, well, there we go. That's a nice one to flip over. A foil Nykthos. Shrine to Nyx. Ah, that's great. Uh, a little bit of clouding up there at the top, but otherwise pretty good for a foil that was just sitting there. No sleeve on it or nothing. 37 bucks for the regular. The foil. $77. Wow. Well, that was quite a surprise. A full Nykthos, uh, not perfect. Um, gee, if I could get half that for this, I'd be very, very happy. Great. There's a nice little hit. It actually, on paper, pushes this over to breaking even, so I'm going to count it. I think, you know what I'll do? I will switch that to, from Near Mint, we'll call it moderately played, and we'll see what it says. Yeah, it didn't change the price for me, so uh, I'm going to assume it's like half of that. Wow, are there any other big surprises in here? That's good. Secure the waste. Put X11 white warrior creature tokens onto the battlefield. Alright, great.
I'm going to take everything that's under 90 cents off the list anyway. We got a Crypt Breaker. 649. So this has come up steadily since it was in standard. I think it's uh, always seen a bit of play with zombies. Asceticism, all right. 1352, not in great shape, but it's there. Steal the Godhead. That's a decent card and it's in usable shape at least. Lightning Bolt. All right. Hey, hey, hey. That's great. I am happy to see this card right now. Lightning Bolt M10. Couple bucks. Look at this. Master of the Wild Hunt. That's unexpected to see in this pile, and it's in a lot better shape than some of that stuff was. So that's great. Well, I think ever since Werewolves came back in uh, Innistrad Midnight Hunt, or whatever that was called. This one's come up a bit. So 13 bucks, it's good. I think it might have hit 20, maybe the end of last year. Protector of the Crown. Couple bucks there.
Selfless Spirit and another Obnixilis. Interesting. Wow, Selfless Spirit is nine bucks. That's interesting. A foil drawna, Calastria Blood Chief. Um, not a very expensive card, but I've always loved the art on this a lot. Let's see what it looks like for a foil. Um, Rise of the Eldrazi foil. That's two dollars. This would have been a really good card at one point. It's been reprinted now, but it's a foil. Basilisk collar. Oops. You see it? World Wake, Basilisk collar, and foil. Yeah, there we go. 13 bucks still. Um, really good shape, actually. It's got a little nix on the back there. Tajuri Preserver. It's actually 366 spells and abilities you, your opponent's control can't cause you to sacrifice permanence. Totally a commander protector card right there. Mammoth Umbra. Ooh, Core Spirit Dancer. Okay, Mammoth Umbra, is it worth a little bit? Not really. Core Spirit Dancer, one of my favorite cards. You just Voltron the crap out of this thing with some enchantments. It's great. Four bucks for a plane chase. 382. I like it. Soul's Attendant, another Soul Sister. 377. Goblin Guide. Again, this is a card that you would not have let go. Um, and it's in like great. This one's in good condition. And it's six bucks. It was probably 20 some bucks at one point. Whisper Silk Cloak, that will be a little bit. 2010 version, this is the 2011 version. Three bucks for Whisper Silk Cloak now. Another Lightning Bolt, and a Protean Hydra, all right. Always sees it as that arch enemy one for like, I don't know why. Add it to this one. Protean Hydra. Four bucks. Hand of the Praetors. It's five bucks. Got in fact other creatures you control with. In fact, get plus one, plus one. Good stuff. Okay, that is that for all of the cards in there. We are left with this pack here which I don't know if it's open or not we're gonna see what it is in fact 
Corset 2011, and it is already open. So let's just pull it out and see what was in there. It looks like about half the cards are gone, so it's probably just commons. Ice Cage, Lion, Cancel, Death Mark. We got a Swamp, a Bird, and a Wild Griffin, so that was it. Yeah, that was it for this uh, box from the Seattle Goodwill. And it turned out halfway okay. Uh, in the beginning, I was very happy to just see some bulk rares and ended up with like a lot of bulk rares and just kind of um, some bulk foils and stuff. But I'm extremely happy to see that there were some other cards in the one to five dollar range and even a few cards that were over ten bucks, including this Nickthos trying to Nix foil. So at the time when someone just kind of threw this in the box to be left behind, maybe it was only like two three bucks, but come up in price a lot and over the years so that's my little haul there for um random buy time on tragic mtg so thank you guys all for watching make sure to hit the like button and check out my other videos and i'll see you on the next one